as it slowly gets close to Christmas time, it seems to be seasonal that my viewers go down. And come May time, my viewers will go up. So for the remaining view, Mrs. Doris, who lives at 24 Peckham Road, London, a very good afternoon for you. George Sampson, who lives on Fifth Avenue in New York. Hello. It's a joke. Some people have actually commented that I do look good in blue, so I thought, why not on a Thursday, for no apparent reason at all, wear blue. And thank you for all your comments. They've all been quite nice and interesting. And yes, one or two times I will make an article about it, it like we did about the domino effect. I think that was from a viewer called William. Thank you so much for that. Today's title is called China's... Demolishing dams, polluted rivers, problems, and the free gorges dam or the free gorges dam overflow, which I sort of did cover last year, uh, but a, a trickle over the top, mainly because of wind, and I went into detail. Unfortunately, that was sort of like taken down because of certain things which happened in October this year. Not going to go into the politics, but hey, we all learn. Yep, we do. Are you looking for the perfect gift for Christmas? Don't know what to buy? Your mum, dad, boyfriend, girlfriend, grandmother, auntie, nephew, niece, cousin, grandparents, whoever, friends. Then do I have the perfect gift for you? Available and only available in the link below is the James Neal Cooper mug. Only $15. It's a non-profit, so all the profit goes to a charity for orphanages in children for 2022. Make a child happy, make a child smile, have a mug. Not this one, this is mine. It could be yours eventually one day, who knows. Help a child, buy a mug. Happy Christmas, y'all. Or is it Merry Christmas? Happy Merry Christmas. And welcome back. Many thanks to the advertisement there. Now I wonder how many people will listen and buy. Let's have a look at earthquakes in China just before we get into the topics of today. Then Nepal and China, a magnitude of 5.5 was there on the 30th of November. There was another one actually closer to the Three Gorges Dam, but wouldn't really affect, it's too far away. You can see it was a 4.7 in Yibin, Sichuan, China, and you can see the map there, and you can see Yibin, and you can see Chongqing, you can see Chengdu. Just further to the east of that, you're going to get to the Three Gorges Dam. Earthquakes are really common in China, and a lot of them are like three to five. There are occasionally maybe sixes and 6.4s etc and they're the more serious ones but these are just sort of like light tremors and quite shallow so in that way you won't a lot of people may not actually feel them now into the title we on about earlier today and demolishing dams and polluting river problems yes i'm going to read but it's not long. So put in some earphones or listen to some music. But here we go. Reads like this. China is in the middle of a campaign to restore the environment of the Yangtze River, which provides water to around 40% of the country's population. The river has been damaged by decades of land reclamation, water diversion and dumping of toxic water. Local governments have already been demolishing dams, relocating chemical plants, restoring wetlands and banning farming and fishing to ecological sensitive areas, but some regions still fail to meet the state water standards. What are the state water standards? I could imagine, and this is being a little bit sensitive and impolite. What China does when it comes to a standard, they drop it. So poverty, for example, in China, 400 American dollars below that is the poverty line. Above that, you're doing very well indeed. So there's no 
strict standard, it fluctuates. So everything is sparkly and shiny and looks like a beautiful Christmas tree and everything's very, very exciting indeed. I am going to show you some pictures right now of some of the some of the um, pictures that China doesn't really want you to see related to Yangtze. And these were caught on by photographers who managed to find the opportunity. Again, these were sort of maybe you could like, like smuggled out of China, like in the old days, so to speak. But this is definitely what they don't want you to see. All they want you to see in China is the sparkling Shanghai, Shenzhen. Everything is modern. Everything is better than the USA. But this is the reality and maybe even the dark side of the Chinese government and the Yangtze River. Like any river, like any country in the world, they, they have the good side, the gleaming side, and they also have sort of like the dark side and the, the unfortunate side as well. It's not common. This is just the way of the world. China is no different in that respect, but they are different in hiding this. But we can get this. So these dams that have been demolished, obviously these are dams, the very early dams, possibly pre Mao days. They're useless, they're dysfunctional, they're not producing any electricity, they're not stopping flooding, they're just a pain in the backside, so to speak. I just call it PIA. It's not Pakistani International Airlines, it's pain in the, I'm not going to say the word, that is ASS. <gasps> oh my God, did I say a bad word? Hey, here's a bridge, get over it. You can see some of the pictures before were around the Free Gorges Dam. You can see all the uh, collection of just garbage. And these weren't the normal pictures that I've shown over the last 18 months. These are sort of unique pictures, not taken by any state or professional photographers, just leaked out of China one way or the other. So these dams that do blah, um, are completely useless. Yes, they do overflow and they do break, etc. They just haven't been maintained. And it's the old sort of thing in China that everything is shiny and new, first of all, and very lovely. And I'm going to use all the same adjectives again, sparkly, not maintained. And then it starts to look ugly, deserted, because they're moving on to a new project and it just swept under the carpet. Yesterday we talked about corruption, so the shoddy materials used is not going to last long. The overflow of the dam, if it continues like this, yes, it will one day because of the build-up of trash, debris, sand, and not taken care of because it's just the dam itself, the Free Gorges Dam, is just too big. It really is just too big for this. And one day we don't know what's going to happen. We can imagine that there is lots of repair work going on. These people work for the state. When you work for the state you have a job for life so it's sort of like minimum effort for the maximum pay. And this is the free gorgeous. There's other things that go on as well. Let's take another break Maybe YouTube will put an advert in this break, but I am certainly not. The last thing that I wanted to talk about today is just a weekly or a 10 day update of what the people on YouTube the, are just saying about the dam. And China shocked three gorges dam collapsed by Taiwanese or Taiwan missile. Yeah, right. And surprisingly, 5.1 views. I could imagine that they're just wanting to hear a whole load of malarkey. It's just uh, all porky pies. And the other one. Um, China emits free gorges dam deformed by flood. I sort of did do this a couple of days ago, but it was an update from 2020. What they're doing is just doing it from 2020 exactly. Just old. They even say, look here, breaking news. Whew. Now, I think that is about it for today. The date 
is the 20... no, it's the 2nd of December, Thursday, at the year 2021. Where's my brain today? It's completely gone haywire. Like that. And don't forget those mugs. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Anything that you would like me to talk about or find out that I can, I'm happy to do so. But let's leave it there for today. A warm day wherever you are in the world. I hope you are safe. I hope you are well. Tell your friends about the channel. I would love in the next 20-something days, 28 days, to get the 30,000 subscriber mark. It just seems to be going down instead of up. Don't know why. Maybe people are bored because I'm waffling on. But in a couple of days' time, in a couple of days' time, I am doing something related to, can I say, world peace, related to the Free Gordon Dam as, as well. And it also relates to Taiwan if you put everything together. Yes, it is an idea which was sparked by the article that we saw earlier from the fake Free Gordon Dam news, but this is practical, this is realistic, this is myself as a truth seeker. I don't see the point of lying at all. Why? What's the point? Yeah. A lie just causes a bigger lie to a bigger lie. The truth will always prevail. And my name is James. God bless. Thank you.